Can I, can I just ask you really quickly, because, you know, if we're taking the, the Tokyo CPI as a leading indicator, which we do, and we're talking about 2.1% on that core print, this is a, a pullback in the inflation that they're trying to juice. Now, obviously, we do have a substantial amount of fiscal stimulus that is going to be coming through <laughs> in terms of and what could potentially come through in FY24. There's a lot of talk about Shunto as well. But considering everything that has been given and considering the easy monetary policy, you would have to think that the, the, the clip at which inflation is slowing down should be concerning and I suppose harkens the fact that we could see this easy monetary policy continue for much longer than what the, the market expectation is right now if they're serious about maintaining it at that 2% at a stable rate. Yeah, I mean, the, the question mark is that, you know, does Japan's interest rates need to be close to zero, uh, which is a real outlier, uh, you know, compared to the, even the inflation rate that we see today. You've got to remember that just like Germany, uh, you know, the, the inflation rate's been massively skewed by household subsidies for energy, uh, for, you know, for utilities. And, you know, that's going to continue until to, to the end of March. But after that, you know, they, you know, the question is, will the government continue to, to, to support household subsidies and, and, and to keep the inflation uh, targets artificially low? Uh, so actually, the inflation rate you're seeing is, is, is being affected by, by, by government subsidies. And, and, and is actually the real levels would, would have been probably half a percent higher. Uh, as far as the core core inflation is concerned, it's still fairly high. Uh, as you pointed out, Shunto wage negotiations seem to be indicating that we are getting perhaps as high as about four to five percent level, which is what um, the government's been asking for. So, um, yeah, you, you're right to some extent that the, that the pressure on BOJ is off to some extent again. But 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 the question is, you know, does the 10-year need to be at 0.8 percent? Uh, given that you know core core inflation, i.e. the service price inflation, and and the, the, the shortages that we're seeing in labour that's pushing labour costs up, you know all, all these factors, you know, um, justify Bank of Japan um, continuing with quantitative easing. Uh, so you know we're still you know going on with that experiment, that monetary policy experiment. And so we were far away from that normalization. So no one's even talking about obviously rate hikes, but you know, do, do, does, does BOJ need to at some stage to do some quantitative tightening, which to some extent is already doing by, by, by lowering its JGB purchases uh, because the pressure has been coming off on, 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 on JGB yields.